Gilfin H and Bjork R A. That looks good, but what what's going on? We've got the date missing here, the year. So the correct way is Guilford and with the ampersand 1985. And in this case, we have a month. Now, why we would we have a month? Because it could be a journal that appears every month. It could be a magazine, some kind of newspaper. It all depends on the publication. But if it's monthly, then we go ahead and add that month in there. This is a paper presented at a meeting of this society, and the location is Boston. So in this case, it's the special case of a paper being presented at a conference, so it's un unpublished. It could occur, it could appear inside a publication volume or a book, but in this case, we're just citing it as that conference which took place in November. So when do you use the month, when do you use the week? It depends on that situation of how often does it occur and when did it come out? Is it a one-time special deal? Otter J, 1994, Kids Growing Up Scared, Newsweek. Here we go with one of these special cases. So Newsweek is a weekly uh, magazine, right? So in this case, we're going to have the month and the exact day. And here we write it this way, which is different from MLA, remember. So in this case, the year comes first. Year, month, day, and with a comma after year. And then back here we have our Newsweek comma. Newsweek is the name of this magazine, so it's in italics. And then the number of the magazine, often they are numbered, and then the page numbers. Okay, so that's how you reference. Those are the most common parts of it. The easiest ones are the ones that you most commonly run into. It's important to remember there are tons of special cases in these things. You need to have your APA manual to get it just right. Again, I'm going to remind you, if you send a paper out or if you write your dissertation or thesis, you need to submit it to your school, to your library. It is your responsibility to get it right. And it really shows that you are at least able to follow these kinds of rules. And it's tiresome, it's not easy to remember, get the book step by step, get your template going and figure it out. If you're using software like EndNote or Zotero, which I highly recommend, it'll be a huge help to put that into the end of the thesis or research for you. However, keep in mind that you need to double check it. I'm always finding out the software mix things up somehow. Especially, think about this case. You have multiple authors, different papers, and those different papers have the same name, and they have a little bit different date, but somehow the date got mixed up when you put it into the database. Or somehow one middle name, one second name, or one first name letter got wrong, and then all of a sudden it's out of order. Well, Professor Warden, nobody will care. Nobody will check that. Well, I check them when I go to defenses of students, and I check them when I review research papers. And the worst thing for a researcher to have happen, I think, is your paper actually gets published and there's something wrong with it. You can't take it back and change it once it's been put into print and finalized. So good luck with your research. Good luck with your reference list.